<laughs> Welcome back, folks, for Fishing Planet Curse Carps. And this one in particular, I took some extra time to make sure I tested some things on this one, too. As you know, it's probably been two hours since my last Halloween guide. And this is the reason is I've spent about two hours on this mission or a little bit more. Um, make sure you listen to uh, details in this video on this one. This is really important or you're going to find this mission super slow. And it is slow to start with. But on the right hand side for Cursed Carps, you will see that there's different things to catch the fish on. Each fish on. So the best thing you can do is set up five carp rods if you have the ability to. Um, if you have less than that, it's going to be a struggle, or uh, you can do it with one if you start in a few places where I talk about to, in this video. Um, but, so, all of the setups, I've been using PVA bags because flat feeders will not, for some reason, hold the ghost mix. So what I did is I literally just took a bag, a mix, uh, just a bag of the ghost right here and mixed it. You're probably going to want two for this mission, maybe a little bit more. Um, and the, the time of day, uh, as long as you're at night, does not matter. Peaks or off peak, they don't seem to care. And it's not like you're going to get destroyed by other catfish. You'll get it, or uh, other carp. You'll get some, but not a whole lot. Uh, one interesting thing here I want to say really quickly too before we get in is you can see in my bag none of these were caught with different things so what do i mean by that the dung beetles only caught gauss carp for me the phalanges only caught mirror and just like the mission says they didn't really overlap as you can see i did catch a few other ones but you can see there is the uh, little ones see the wood the wood lice caught only hybrid carp i just did a few days of this, so this isn't my whole bag for the whole mission, but I did want to see that. See that. So if you catch something on flanges, it seems like it's going to be a mere ghost carp if it isn't just a plain crummy carp. You know, it's not going to be something different. All right, so then with that being said, I use six O's on my poles, all of them, but the pole for F1, which I used a number four. Uh, not a barbless number four, as you guys can see. You can't put that on there, but you can use a regular four. So this mission, guys, has some very interesting mechanics. Uh, and, and it is, we're going we're gonna to talk about it a little bit here. So, uh, but first, to set up your different poles, obviously with five, uh, you can put four in a rod stand, hold it on you if you're high enough level. If you're lower, you're going to have to pick and choose at these lakes. Um, so one thing I will tell you is these lakes, each lake seemingly is better at catching one type of fish. Now you can catch all of them in any of the lakes, uh, but you'll notice when you come here to have your mission, they'll have different kind of colors of smoke on them. And we will go through that really quick. So this lake up here, this Willow Lake, this is where I started. I caught two grass carp. Once you catch the fish out of that lake, by the way, and let's see the mark here so you guys can see it. And you can catch some others too. But once I caught all of my grass carp or the fish that were in the lake, because as you can see, all different lakes had different fish, um, the smoke cleared. And you'll see that at the end of my video when I do my every fish montage that you guys always see. So then I popped up over to, where was it? It was back at that same spawn, but it was the other lake. It was, I came over to this side, and I will show you this, um, and we'll walk over here. Um, this one, I definitely got a lot of different types of fish. This was my, uh, I guess, the spot where I caught the most. But again, once I caught all of that one type of fish, I can't remember what it was, if it was leather or ghost it could have been either um once i caught that they i caught the one all of them i need for the mission the smoke cleared on this lake and i'm really glad it's interesting that they did that because it kind of let me know i need to move on to another lake and it did work now this is a slower mission this isn't going to be something that's going to take you five minutes 
You know, the Sturgeon mission only took me about three full minutes to do. Um, granted, I had a friend help uh, already do that one, Shockwaves, as you guys saw in the video. Um, so that did help a little bit. So then I came up to here, and I came up to this backside, as you'll see. And uh, this was F1 carp, and ghost carp were pretty good here. So just keep that in mind. If you guys do have to use a single pole, that's kind of how you want to go about it. This was at, right in the spot was F1 and the, the uh, white ghost carp here, guys. So that gives you all the options basically to catch them and then just move around the lakes to each one. Um, I did it also at all of the lakes. So right here, I came over here, and I think this, the one I caught over here was a, oh, it was right here. I believe it was my last common one. Yeah, so it was my regular ghost carp, I guess you would say, in place of the common carp. Uh, so with that being said, you'll know because the smoke will clear after you catch the fish, and you'll want to move to another spot, guys. And I showed you all the spots here, um, but just keep that in mind. If the clouds go off, they do get a little slower. If you do not uh, have the ground bay or the PVA bags on, if you try to use flat feeders, for some reason the ghost mix, which is right here. I'll show this again. I think I showed it earlier, but just to be say it sh sh sure, I literally just take this and I mixed it right here, just like that, and equipped it to the PVA bags. But the flat feeders, I tried that. They don't work. You can't fill them with this mix for some reason. Uh, but anyway, and then what I did is every time I got eliminated, let's say I caught all the fish I needed on the dung balls, then I would switch this pole to one of the other ones that I needed, and so on and so forth till at the very end I had all the rod with the same thing trying to get one fish left at the one place that had smoke left uh, over the lake. Anyway, hopefully this helps you out, guys, uh, and we'll see you next time, folks.